Hello, this is a Julius Forick made in Germany, 116 centimetres tall, made in 1983. We've got some new Forricks in stock and one alongside it here, so we'll be able to do a comparison. This is 112, 122 centimetres tall. Um, so a new piano made in China, but the firm is Austrian and they do have some characteristics of Forick as well, so try and explain that. The piano is in near perfect condition both in terms of the mechanics and also the casework, just the odd little scuff which we will be uh, making good obviously and I could just saw one key that had previously been chipped, you can see it there and someone's just filed it down to match the others, I don't think that's really a problem, we might try and improve that a little bit. So as we look inside we see top quality German craftsmanship, just want to show a few uh, features of that, um, the Celeste here that pulls out beautifully and um, the Yamaha Celeste they have a, a nut here to turn. I have got comparisons between uh, the Yamaha and the new Forex so you could look at those if you want to see some more comparisons but this just pulls out beautifully. Um, that might not sound an important thing but for tu they're really thinking about tuners and how they can serve them as well as possible. If we look at the new Forex it's a very similar system so it looks like it's modelled on the old Forex. They're interesting enough they had this system when the firm was still called Wendell and Lung so they must have had some contact with Forex I think because there's other aspects of the design that are very similar. Um, Julius Forex joined the team in about 2011 I think. There are some obvious differences the original Forex has a Renner action in as top quality German pianos tend to. The action on the new Forex is made in China but it does have some influence from Germany and Forex are very fastidious firm that went along as they were before and are really trying to do things as well as possible so they're good, very good quality hammers and good quality action generally and everything's wood as opposed to in Yamaha you've got plastic parts, everything's wood here. Other things which please the tune is no, there's no annoying location pins either on this half flow or or on the back there, I don't know if you can see that, um, that's often got location pins and uh, on this one it's like all old pianos really, you can see the serial number tucked tuck behind there as well. So again the new Forex copied that as you can see. They've also got some beautiful brass knobs here which you can turn easily. Annoyingly Yamaha put little, little washers under here and these are, these are plastic as well. So these are things that annoy the tuners. Obviously the piano is well made if it's a Yamaha but um, it's much nicer to, for tuners to find this. And again sim simmer on the new Forex. The West German Forex has wooden petal mechanism here um, and the uh, they tend to be made of metal and many pianos these days. The new Forex also has wooden pedal mechanism. Um, the pedals themselves are made of brass of course and you might notice that, that these are covered over with plastic. The new pianos are supplied plastic to stop them tarnishing here obviously um, and that plastic very often clients leave it on but that can be taken off quite simply or we can take it off for you. Now there are some differences, there are agraphs in this middle section like there are on Beckstein's. And the new Forex has a pressure bar here, Steinways have a pressure bar here as well, so, so a lot of firms do do pressure bars there. Beckstein have agraphs right up to the top. Now just to compare the tone of the two pianos, around this break point here, often there's a difference one side to the other. And that's perfectly matched. And interesting, the break points are exactly the same place on both pianos. That's, the break points aren't always at this point. This is a uh, that, that's an E, that's an F. And at the tenor break. And interesting enough, it's this F here that was the break point on the other one. And it's a break in a sense that they've got come from uh, the copper wound ones here to the steel strings. So that's difficult to match as well. Let's see how I've got on. And that's pretty good.
So we've already started some work on this piano, Voice of the Hammers, they're a bit on the bright side. Pitch raised the piano from 439442, uh, allowing it to gradually drop back down to 440, which is what we normally do. Um, so, so the hammers are a bit bright, we've voiced them, and there's still one or two other things to do. The let off, um, I didn't show it, but the letting off a bit on the early side. Uh, and regulating the pedal, so just a couple of things. The, the weighting of the keys isn't too bad, though if we lubricate the balance rail, we'll, that'll bring that down slightly and then we'll even out the weighting. We'll always try and get it like a new piano. I didn't mention that it's got a longer music desk than the, the, the new Forex, so 92, the new Forex about 78, but that's much longer than the Yamaha U1. Um, and there's many aspects of the piano that make it really far superior, I think, to a lot of modern pianos. The legroom, by the way, is 67 centimetres. That's normally 61, say, on a Yamaha U1. Um, 63 on the Forex. 67 is plenty of legroom if you're a tall person. And pedals are relatively low as well at 6 centimetres. So that's the West German Forec 116, made in 1983. And so pleased to get this piano into stock. Just a delight to play. The action is so even and beautifully designed. It's a Renner action, obviously. And Forec have worked on it beautifully. Another aspect I didn't mention of the piano is, of course, it's not black, uh, and that pleases me tremendously. It pleases technicians, I think. In the 1980s, pianos tended not to be black, and black's been sold to people these days because it's easier, basically much cheaper to do. You've got to have veneer on here, you've got to have matching veneer, um, and obviously you've got to polish the wood as well, so it's a lot more work, um, and a lot more variety, obviously, that in itself is more work. The black piano seems to be much more mass produced. So, if you're interested in the piano, please do write to us info at robertspianos.com. Thank you very much for listening.